Lori and Levi left for home. For more about their visit, see part one. Alice Schmidt came by for the day bearing gifts for our anniversary. Mikey hanging out with Keith and Harry. It rained a lot and Mikey came home soaked more than once. All the rain didn't seem to have any effect on the low water. We checked for shiners in Cooter Pond in downtown Inverness. I hate to buy shiners. Wish we had a checkers in Arkansas. A couple of sand hill cranes in our neighbor's yard. Fresh lake water in the live well, we drove to Denellen to get shiners. I hate to buy shiners. We checked out a couple possible fishing spots. We met Anne in Ocala for dinner. And then she took me to her house. Anne's friends, Paula and Steve, and headed for the January extravaganza at Renninger's Flea Market. There were some pretty strange items for sale. People will do anything for attention. Man, what are you doing? made sangria, which we tested very thoroughly. And then we left Anne's house, walked across the street to Bonnie's house, for a party. It was a celebration of life party for Bonnie, who had just finished her chemo. Bonnie's niece put the mohawk and her band provided the music. There was karaoke too. And I know what I'm Uh. 
grandkids came for dessert and to do a little uh, cleanup in the sink. Back in Inverness. not fair. He had water over in Floral City, and it's only about five miles away. The azaleas were starting to bloom, and it was a beautiful day. guys told us about another lake, so we went and looked at it. More sandhill cranes, but no shiners. I hate to buy shiners. We did a painting of this boat. Our neighbor Karen and I went to an art show in the courthouse. Mikey fixed submarine sandwiches, and Anne came to dinner. I have to do all the cooking. We headed south, stopping at Boca Siga Millennium Park in Seminole, Florida. The park is 182 beautiful acres and contains a diverse quantity of plants interspersed with sculptures by Leslie Fay. Mysterious figures are propped against leaning trees. Cobweb ladders lead to imaginary oak tree communities. Woman in a tree. All the sculptures will eventually disintegrate and be claimed by nature. The 35 foot observation tower overlooks Boca Siga Bay. We had lunch at Red Mesa and then went on to several art galleries. We went to a shop that had handmade chocolates and bought a jar of chocolate body paint. I hear it was highly successful. We left St. Pete via the Skyline Bridge, which is an architectural marvel. Village of the Arts, we attended the monthly gallery walk in this vibrant artist community. I bought a pendant from this fellow and we sampled the free wine quite liberally. Anne had a piece of artwork at the Still Life NG Gallery in a shy show. So we went to the opening reception. breakfast, I headed to the mall and Ann went to an art conference. Later we had dinner at the Crab Trap. The Ringling Estate is located on 66 acres of parkland and gardens on Sarasota Bay.
Circus Museum features the world's largest miniature circus with every detail accurate. Entire tableau changes from day to night every few minutes. Another section showcases circus parades. There were vintage costumes and posters. In another building, we found the human cannonballs cannon and other interesting artifacts. I hate clowns. The estate features the spectacular Katazen, the House of John, a waterfront mansion that was restored in 2002. Inside the house, the ceilings were spectacular. The walls decorated and decorative. The lighting, brilliant. And the furnishings, magnificent. John and Mabel Ringling Museum of Art offers 21 galleries of European paintings, antiquities, Asian art, American paintings, and contemporary art. Nice buns! Jacob Lawrence, an African-American artist, shows the horror of Hiroshima in these works. When Grandma Moses died in 1961, she was 101 and world famous. We found a clever sculpture garden hidden in a banyan grove. left for home and we went for a boat ride on Lake Henderson. Where's Tommy? Nice fish. Mike's camera got ruined, so these are the only fish pictures. to Lake Panasopoki to check it out. I hate to buy shiners.
It looked great, but unfortunately the water was very shallow, just like every place else near Inverness. The high point was seeing several ospreys near their huge nest in a tall tree. Mikey was pulling us back when it started to rain. Oh, perfect. Then a guy on an airboat showed up and told us about some other places we might want to go to look for shiners. First place was a dam that was probably keeping the water from getting to where we were staying. It was near a really trashy trailer park. The second place the guy recommended was a very pretty park. But the Shiner situation didn't look too promising. I hate to buy Shiners. The next day, our neighbor Karen and I drove up to Dinellon and poked around in some of the galleries and antique stores. Mike and I went to Webster City Monday Flea Market. We drove to Winter Haven to check out a house to rent next year. It was next to a park with a boat ramp, but we couldn't come to terms with the owner. We checked out some of Winter Haven's many lakes before heading home. drove over to Ann and Jack's house in Ormond Beach. She was busy working on some art for a show. And Mikey fixed us dinner. I have to do all the cooking. Ann showed me this purse Paula made. We went to Deland. We went to Renninger's February Extravaganza and then met Mike at a gas station so he could pick me up and take me home. The neighbor's cat, Tommy, was one of Mike's big buddies. Where's Tommy? Where's Tommy? We had breakfast with the Perrys at the Elks. We went to Webster City Monday with Ann, and then she and I headed to Crystal River in search of some more treasures. flora and fauna near our house. The fairies invited us over for drinks and stimulating conversation. We packed the truck and said goodbye to Tommy and Della and Harry. We left for home and arrived back in the natural state, the beautiful Arkansas, the next day. <laughs>